Good day to you all. In this movie I want to show you some experiments I'm now doing with an SCR. I'm trying to uh, dump the load of the capacitors into the battery when a sudden voltage level is reached. And uh, I want to use it as uh, the least as possible components for that. So I'm now experimenting with the Zener diode in the gate of the SCR. Um, the problem that I had uh, that in without the plate over here it di didn't uh, discharge. I will show it uh, later. So it's not stable, but it works. So what we have over here is the four generator coils are in series. Then we have the circuit to make the shortcutting of the coils, but that was from the previous video. So now we are looking at um, the charging of the capacitors and the dump to the battery. So the motor is now running. I am using 540 milliamps approximately, and this is without uh, shortcutting. This is the SCR that I'm using. Um, it can handle 40 amps continuously. So those are the bolt uh, capacitors. They are charged through that diode bridge. Over here I have a switch so I can control if the short cutting is used or not. So this is how the circuit is built. So over here we still have the circuit uh, to shortcut the coils. The connection is just like in the previous video. So if we look at our voltages, the running voltages is uh, 12.44. Here we see the charging of the capacitor and the dump. Over here we have the voltage battery. Uh, that is the battery that we are charging with that uh, capacitor dump and that is the voltage of the negative batteries that uh, are those four batteries over there so if we look at the screen over here then we can see how the discharging is done so we see we go to the 40 volts and then dump it to the battery. Yesterday I did some experiments where I put a resistor in series to measure the current and when this is happening, uh, but it was with less voltage, then it already was 30 amps going to the uh, battery, but of course it's just an impulse. So as you can see it, it charged and discharged. Now I have some uh, issues, so when I release that um, plate you will see that it doesn't discharge anymore. So I have now removed the, pla the plate, so this is what happens then, you see that the voltage is rising, the SCR is not firing anymore. So I'm going to put it back on. So you see the plate is really necessary to the workings of it. Uh, the plate is just an isolated plate. It's, an, um, it's used on the Tesla One Wire uh, movies. Um, it's the wooden plate with aluminium foil around it and then uh, plastic uh, tape around it to isolate it, but as you can see it's needed. Now um, an also a strange phenomenon is when I connect the a cable that is connected to the cabinet where the motor is standing on, you see a whole other uh, going trying to, to connect it. it's now connected, we draw much more amperes, but you see the graph is totally changed.
although this is in the generator coils uh, not the motor coils so normally it shouldn't have an influence but it has so um, there is a much more drag on the motor then so I release it now and you see we are back to normal now when I connect that uh, same cable to the battery plus then we get this so we see that uh, the voltage is lower where we make that drop So it's strange, I don't understand why this is happening or why I need that uh, plate. But it, the most important is that it works. So I'm going to do much more experiments, but I wanted to show you how far I am at the moment. So thank you for watching.